Is voting this guy out the only way Asians are going to feel safe in San Francisco? Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. A new poll shows that Asian Americans are leading the charge in recalling San Francisco's controversial district attorney, Chesa Boudin, after feeling like his softness on crime has not done anything and only led to multiple Asian deaths and an actual increase in crime overall. I mean, I've been following this for a year. I mean, we're talking about the stories of Vicha Ratapatki, Hanako Abe, Kelvin Chu, the list goes on and on. Basically, these Asians were all killed by people who should have been in jail. Right. But obviously, Chesu Budin, as a hyper-liberal DA, he's very soft on crime. He likes to give people second, third chances, hug them, he let them out. Yeah, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about why so many people hate him right now, um, what this means for Asians who used to vote left and maybe now are feeling left behind by the left, but also how this can be inspiring for a lot of different Asian groups around the country. Let's get into it. Um, real quickly, if we can, which it's tough, talk about why so many people are mad at him right now. Well, basically, he's got to be probably the most radical DA that America's ever seen. I mean, uh, I understand he got elected under like a very certain moment in time in this country, but basically Chesa Boudin, Andrew, is, uh, was raised by like hyper radical people. Um, his parents were in jail for like a, a robbery where people ended up getting killed or whatever. So he really has this like hyper, like 20 out of 10 restorative justice type like attitude, but he actually was a public defendant. Now he's the DA, which is supposed to be the lead prosecutor in the system of the city. He's supposed to be a hard ass. So basically, obviously, theoretically, cases come up to him. He's got to make a read on him. Should I go soft on it? Should I go moderate? Or should I throw the book at this criminal and give him the maximum sentence? Andrew, he's been going soft and ultra soft. Now, that means the criminals get second, third chances. They don't get long sentences. They get to go in and they get to go out. Some of those criminals, to be hyper fair, uh, go get their life on track, right? Or do okay. But some of them come right back out and do way more crimes. And some of them come out and kill Asian people. And it seems like he does not give a shit if they come out and kill an Asian. So as long as maybe one person helped turn their life around. Yeah, because he's sticking to his guns. He's like, well, probably in his mind, actually not, this is not what he says to the public, obviously guys, right. because he's very like PR centric. He's he probably in his mind, he's like, well, yeah, I mean, some of the Asians are dying, but uh, I'm still like, I believe in what I believe in long-term. This is the right way. And plus it's just an Asian. I mean, I he, literally think no, he thinks that is it. No, he probably thinks like, well, some Asians are going to get picked on and, and killed anyway. So, you know, it's just, it's just part of the growing pains in the process. And that is why Asians are particularly leading the charge against him to get him ousted from his position. And I'll tell you this. clearly, he doesn't care about the downside of his policies directly impacting Asians. And this is a big deal that Asians are being political because usually Asians are not political. And by the way, the district attorney is a very specific like position. It's not like president of the United States where any like non-educated person can just be involved in it. It's like, whoa, this is very specific. You gotta really want this guy out. So that's why it is cool that Asians are leading the charge. I think it's important. I also think it's very, very interesting, David, that the latest high profile case that Chesa Boudin has caught somebody in, um, uh, has caught the criminal is an Asian guy who was involved in some car burglary rings uh, involving a Quickly's boba shop. Yeah, and we're not defending this guy because no. we understand no. if you do bad things, then you got to go to jail. No, send him to jail. Send this Asian guy to jail. I don't care that he's Asian. It's but funny I'm, that it was a Quickly's, to be fair, because that's like, you know, the crummiest boba shop. Yeah, but it's also ironic that Chess Boudin doesn't care if Asian people die and then the only person that he caught recently was an Asian guy. Yeah, that's his marquee, like, kingpin that he caught now, with somebody stealing MacBooks out of the trunks. Listen, good job, Chessa. Great. Can you go catch the people who are terrorizing Asian people on the street now? But he doesn't care, to be honest. I did a lot of research, guys. I've read things in the middle. I've read things supporting Chessa Boudin. I've read, obviously, a lot of pieces against him. I've read a ton of internet comments, ones that are upvoted, downvoted. Literally, I will say this, Andrew. I read a Stanford law professor that was like kind of defending him, going, well, he is just doing exactly what he said he was going to do. It would be like almost, he's almost like the inverse Trump. Like if Trump really would have got the wall done, like right when he got elected. Like believe, I'm not really that conservative where I'm like, oh, these ideas suck. I'm like, yo, the restorative justice, decarceration, it sounds really good, but obviously how it's implemented and like generally how you're going to execute it very, very hard. There's the theory and then there's yeah. IRL. Yeah, maybe it might work for a smaller city, but maybe not one of the top five biggest cities in America. 
Anyways, it, guys, I'm gonna we're, we're, let's let's talk about what this means for Asians who feel left behind by the ultra left. You know, they probably voted him in, obviously now regretting it. A lot of people are regretting it now, even like the liberal non-Asians, right? right? right. Uh, so 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 what now? What do Asians do? How do they vote? Well, I do think that in the upcoming elections, Asians will be way more careful about who they vote for. And obviously, I do think that a lot of Asians are feeling abandoned by like the hyper progressive liberal left or whatever you want to call them. I don't even know exactly what it is, but it's just gotten way like Asians generally like life, like kind of in a moderate zone. Like if they go yeah. right, they're not too right. If they go left, they don't go too left. That's Asian culture. Yeah. But wherever SF is at is like outside of this safe zone it's beep, beep 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 i mean people there just want to be safe and what's wrong with wanting to be safe that's not that's actually good for everybody i think everybody wants more or less a stable society yeah if you do something really bad repeatedly let's say 20 30 40 times you should probably be in jail so you cannot do more bad things to people or the society I think that this is pretty cool though that Asians are leading the charge because I think it could be inspiring to other Asian groups in other cities that are also unhappy with elected officials. Now, obviously SF has a huge high Asian population, mostly Chinese, mostly Southern Chinese, mostly Cantonese, right? And um, so not every city is gonna have that population, but if they can get together and really get this guy out, I mean, I think it'll, yeah. it'll, it's a good sign. I mean, Chinese in particular are like known for being in disarray. Like it is just not a very organized yeah. narrative, to be honest. But, for it, a million but if it reasons. was gonna work, it's gotta be the Bay Area because that's where a lot of the politicalized uh, Asians are from. Basically, Asians gotta do two things they're not doing right now. Number one, they gotta protect themselves and they gotta understand that right now you have leadership in place that does not fully value you. And do they not fully value you because you're Asian or because you don't vote? Well, that leads us to our second point. By the way, I do think some of it is just that people just think we're perpetual foreigners and we don't, you know, whatever, whatever, we're not part of the cool kids or whatever yeah. but part of number two is that we don't vote most asians literally statistically do not vote unless there's an asian candidate on the ballot which obviously makes people care less about your um you, your opinion because they don't really go off the populace you know a lot of politicians you know what's messed up Andrew? they don't really serve the populace they serve they uh self-interestedly serve the voting populace no they just uh, just the people who vote that's why I, almost like a person who votes is worth five times more than any other citizen that doesn't vote that's why people play to the voters that's why we do need to vote it's true listen I know a lot of people don't like voting, and maybe voting is very inconvenient sometimes, but if you can, vote this guy out. Listen, guys, there's a lot of choices in life, and whether you want to, I get it, you know, if you had a hyper-conservative, throw the book at everybody, DA, then there's some bad sides of that, too, to be honest. And then now you have one guy on the reverse side trying to make up for what he views as, like, this guy's wrongdoings, and he's overcompensating over here, and the system's getting ripped from here to here to here, when a nice equilibrium point would still have its downsides but ultimately would do the best to mitigate the downside and nobody cares because that's where we are as a country's hyperpolarized and of course Asians and, getting hurt and of course you know everything's politicized even down to people's safety people's safety is being politicized I think safety is like pretty simple Anyways, literally guys when the, you can't solve simple problems it's generally indicative of a lot of other bad things please let us know what you think in the comment section below we're totally okay if people don't agree with us if people think over here people think over there i read everything for this piece I, I did my research this one this opinion that opinion you let us know what you think in the comment section below i think they got to get rid of that guy and i get it it's more complicated it's a whole machinery it's just i one mean person. just because you get rid of them doesn't mean all the problems are solved but either way you guys let us know in the comments down below what you think thank you for watching the hot pop boys hopefully that was uh, the hot take and we got heated so you know it's hot anyways guys hit that like button and again we're the hot pot boys until next time we out peace, peace.